My husband keeps sneaking out in the middle of the night. Then I found out his other set of family. As the title says, my husband keeps sneaking out in the middle of the night. For basically as long as I can remember, I've gotten up at around 4 a.m. or so to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That's just how my body is. And lately, when I do so, I won't find my husband in bed. In fact, I can't find him anywhere. He does have pretty bad insomnia. And sometimes, on really bad nights, I would find him in the living room watching TV or playing a video game. Also, it's not every night. It's maybe every other night that he sneaks out. I'm trying not to let it bother me, but this has been going on for about a month now. And I'm starting to get really annoyed or worried about where he's going and what he's doing at such weird hours of the night. It happened again the other night. And I stayed up until he decided to come home at 6 a.m., mind you. I don't know how long he was actually gone. Just that he hadn't been there from about 4 a.m. until then. I admit I was pretty cranky and annoyed when he got home. And I asked him where he had been. He told me not to worry about it, and, let's go back to sleep. I kept pushing, and he said he just goes out for a walk. I wasn't satisfied with that answer, but the conversation kept going back to how he just takes a walk to burn any extra energy, or to clear his head when he can't sleep. So I decided to drop it, as I was pretty tired, and had to be up in an hour to go to work anyway. Well it happened again tonight, or this morning. I got up to go to the bathroom, and I couldn't find my husband anywhere. Again, I was really annoyed and I stayed up to see when he would get home. It was 5.35. So that's an improvement, at least. When he got home, he looked so sleepy and climbed into bed. And without saying a word, I got out, took my pillow and blanket, and came to the couch where I am now. I know it's petty to give him the silent treatment. But I'm frustrated, and I just want to be by myself right now. I can hear him snoring, so I guess his walk worked. I'm not sure what to do now. I'm exhausted, and I honestly just want to know the truth. Should I confront him? I'm not big on confrontation, but at the same time, I really want to know what's going on. TLDR. My husband is sneaking out and says he is going on walks to clear his head. I'm not sure where to go from here. Comments. Even authorize no. It's weird that he didn't mention it until you caught him. Everyone who's saying you're out of line for being suspicious probably isn't married, because the first time my or my husband's insomnia was bad enough, we left the house on foot, in the dark for hours, and would mention something the next morning, like, Wow, crazy right? But it really helped, so I might keep taking walks. Checking in with your life partner like this isn't controlling. It's for safety. He doesn't need your permission. But if he's outside in the middle of the night, you should know. What if he doesn't come home one morning? You call the cops and report him missing, and all you can say is, I don't know, he says he walks for hours at night. But I have no idea where he went or where he could be. I am actually constantly sharing my location on my phone with my husband, my mom and my best friend for reasons like this. Your husband can do what he wants without permission, but not without giving you a heads up as a courtesy. I honestly think he's probably doing something shady, and you should trust your gut. Kira Jallet. Does he bring his phone? Ask him to show you his Google Maps history if it's set to on. At least you could see where he's going. Vilnius Nastavnik. The OP should insist that he take his phone and leave the location tracking on. If his story is legit, and he's out stumbling around the neighborhood half asleep in the middle of the night. Somebody should know where he is for safety reasons. OP. I know that logically, he might just be going on walks. But I have had an ex in the past leave me in the middle of the night, and not return for a week. And then break up with me. And I'm now realizing that I probably have unresolved issues around this. Other than this, I can't think of any other reason. I do have PTSD abandonment issues involving an ex, leaving in the middle of the night, and not coming back for a week and he actually was cheating. Not necessarily in the middle of the night, but in general. And when he came home, he broke up with me to be with his side chick. I know it's been over 10 years, but I guess I never really got over that. And I agree that he does need to get his insomnia checked. I've been saying that for years. Update. Eight months later. Hello all, I wanted to provide you with an update. Apologies for taking so long to update. My life has been a whirlwind for the past eight months and I honestly haven't been in the best mental state. Also, trigger warning. This update touches on topics of depression, drug use, and cheating. So about two months ago, a police car pulled up to my house, and two police officers knocked on my door. They told me they were there to do a wellness check on my husband's name, because his girlfriend hadn't heard from him in three days and was worried about him. They asked me if I was his sister or what my relationship to him was. I told them I was his wife, and beyond that, I can't even remember what I said. I was in shock. I just remembered them leaving and me closing the door and crying. 
He was at work at the time, and when he got home, he could tell I was upset. I mean it was obvious, because every time I tried to speak, I would just start crying again. Eventually it got to the point that I guess he knew he had to come clean, and he told me everything. So yeah, I found out he had been cheating on me with an ex-co-worker of his. Not only this, but I have been supporting her and her two kids. She couldn't hold down a job, and he didn't want them to end up homeless. The reason she couldn't hold down a job is because she was or is into drugs and would go on week-long benders where she just wouldn't show up to work. And he says that about a year ago, she called him out of the blue and cried to him, saying that she was about to lose her apartment because her husband was cheating on her and had basically vanished ironic, I know, leaving her with all the bills that had to be paid. And her two kids needed food and new stuff for school. He says that at first, it was just financially supporting her and her kids. Until he started doing the drugs with her, and that's when things escalated. He told me he had cut things off with her three days before the police showed up. And that's why they were doing a wellness check. So I asked him if that was where he was going when he was sneaking out. He said yes, for the most part. He also said, to be fair, I really would just go on a walk or drive around sometimes. And I know there are going to be questions about how I didn't notice the missing money. So here's my answer. We have separate bank accounts. He pays for his bills, and I pay for mine. And our joint bills come out of my account. And he pays me back whatever the total is for those bills. And well, he never stopped paying me for those bills. And household things that were in his name never got shut off. So I never had a reason to think anything was wrong in that area. I have been so emotionally numb for these past two months. And he has been begging me for about two months to make a decision about our relationship. As in divorce or working things out. Because being in limbo is really stressful for him. I honestly just don't want to even put any energy into thinking about the future at all right now. All of my friends and family are telling me to get a divorce. But, I don't know, everything had been great up until eight months ago. And our lives are so intertwined. That feels so stupid to say. But I'm basically paralyzed with numbness. I did, however, make an appointment for couples therapy. So I guess I will see how that goes. He seems up to it. And I just wanted to extend a thank you to all the people who took the time to read this and the last one. Comments. Shape Suite 14544. The question is, why wouldn't you leave him? First, he is a junkie with her. Are you going to support him? Second, he has been cheating you for a year now. Until the police actually came and asked for him because of his girlfriend. Third, he is not even trying but merely waiting for you to decide. You realize there is nothing to fix here. He won't stop because he is emotionally involved with her whole family. He became a drug addict. And he sneaked behind your back literally for a second life. Run goddess DePaulo. Out of curiosity, did she know you guys were still together? OP, yes, he says he told her he was married. Comfortable ad 2023. So she knew he was married and sent a wellness check anyway, knowing you would find out. She did it on purpose, SMH. I have no words. Winterfront 1431. He was using your family money to support and F another woman. There is no way around this. Stop delaying the inevitable, end it, and tell him he can go support her and her habit now and you will find someone worthy of you. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.